And finally tonight, an East Tennessee man was one of the first faces Apollo 11 astronauts saw when they splashed down in the Pacific Ocean 50 years ago today. Emily DeVoe has the final moments of the mission to land a man on the moon and return him safely to Earth. Apollo 11, Houston, through the ride for. As the crew of Apollo 11 plummeted back to Earth, that's me there. Pat Lanclose was waiting for them in the Pacific Ocean. I drew the assignment of being on the recovery team for Apollo 11 and 12. His memories of that day are bound in a photo book from the Navy. We were able to move to the recovery area. The swimmers to deploy in about one minute. Landclose was recruited as a swimmer to retrieve the astronauts from the command module once it landed in the ocean. After jumping from a helicopter, the swimmers had to quickly attach a flotation bladder to keep the module from sinking. Our first time was a learning experience, uh, and I bet you we hooked that boilerplate up a thousand times, you know, in all different conditions, you know, the, at nighttime. Uh, heavy seas. The weather on July 24th, 1969 was perfect. No rain, no storms. But the waves proved to be a bit much for the astronauts. It was just normal uh, splashing around and uh, they were all sick. And we helped them out into the boat and hooked them up, put them in a, a little basket and they just hoisted it. And the flags are waving and the cigars are being lit up. When the world's attention turned to the USS Hornet, and here they come. where astronauts made their way into a three-week quarantine for fear they might have contracted an extraterrestrial illness. There was a lot of worry that uh, they were going to be bringing back some kind of unknown virus. Land Close and the other swimmers stayed with the module to bring it aboard the aircraft carrier. It was a mission he felt lucky to be on and one he'll always remember. Tomorrow the stars. Emily DeVoe, 10 News. Boy, what wow. a rewind of history that was. No doubt. His assignment continued through the splashdown of Apollo 12, which happened just four months later. Online right now on the WBIR app, you can see our entire 30-minute special about the many East Tennesseans who worked on the Apollo 11 mission, how they helped astronauts get to the moon, and how local researchers could help NASA on future missions. You can find that in the As Seen on TV section of the BIR app.